Hello everybody and welcome back to Sussex Farm episode 3 with me, Jordison. So, as you saw at the beginning of the episode there, um, at the end of the last episode I decided to do some contracting work just to get our money up, which has gone up to 59,000 as you can see. Um, so I've decided that I'd put that in a time lapse, time lapse and make that the beginning of this video. So as you can see, it's 5.47 in the morning. We have a few things that I want to try and get done in this episode. Um, namely some seeding, because as you can see in the top right hand corner of the screen, it is indeed 5 degrees Celsius ground temperature, soil temperature. That's great, however as you can see, it's absolutely pouring it with rain, which isn't good, because we've also got the sign up there that says that the ground's too wet to do anything. So. We've got to hope that it's going to stop raining sometime soon. Um, but while we wait for it to stop raining, there are plenty of things that we can, can be getting on with. I mean, if we have a look over here, we need to... I thought we might have needed to clean the sheep. Uh, apparently we don't need to clean the sheep, but we can go and clean the sheep and try and get that up to 100%. Um, the health doesn't seem to be going up. Now... I have been told that that might be some, well, not told, but on YouTube videos I've watched, they've said something about an animal glitch when starting the map with seasons. Now, these sheep were already here, so I wouldn't have thought it would have made any difference. But if anybody knows on that, please feel free to drop a comment below, send me a message on Facebook, and just let me know what's going on there, because it's a little bit confusing, because if we have, have another look there, Water, hay and grass are practically full, well they are full by the looks of things, and cleanliness is nearly full. So, we should be at a better health than that. But, moving on, now we can see here, we have a Voltra, I think it's a T-Series? Yes, Voltra T-Series parked out front, with a fertiliser spreader on the front and a sewing machine on the rear. Now the farmer from down at Abbott's Farm, I'm yet to remember his name, um, so when I remember that I shall let you guys know, um, uh, he had borrowed some equipment off of my dear old grandpa, the Voltra, the fertilizer and the cedar. We don't actually want any of them so I'm thinking of selling all three I might keep the Voltra and sell the JCB but I'm yet to decide yet so we are going to sell the fertilizer there um, and the sower on the back here what we're also going to do if we come into the yard you'll see that I've moved a few things around so the lint Lint the lint track is now over here with the Rumbler van and the water tra water trailer, the Joskin water trailer. Um, simply because the van is going to be my main use. I'm actually going to sell the pickup out the front. The van I'm going to use the most because I like the van more. Um, and the tractor there, just reverse it round, hook it up to the water trailer, and away we go to water the animals. Over here, hmm, that's suspicious. Oh no, no, it's not. <laughs> Over here we have the um, Kuhn Espro 3000, the direct sower out of the Kuhn pack. If you remember we bought that in one of the previous episodes. We are going to be keeping that, definitely. And obviously we've got our mowers there at the moment, they're still there. Over here, still with the Vulture T and the JCB. But then if we go over here again, somewhere... Um, hold on, let me find it now. This is where I get a little bit lost, because I know somewhere... Right, let's jump in the tractor. We'll just jump in this one for now. I know that somewhere around here... There is some more storage. And it has in it few items that we're going to find useful. It's got our plough in it, it's got a cultivator in it, and I believe it's got another sewing machine in it which I'm opting to sell. But, in order to sell it, I suppose I have to find it all first. 
I could have sworn it was at this farm. Oh. Perhaps it's at Plumpton Farm. Let's have a look. I know we have one. Um, because it's a green one. Where is it? There it is. So whereabouts on the map is it? Oh, it's over there. Right. That makes perfect sense. Right. Now that we know where it is, that was my. I do apologise. Bit of an idiot there. I'm still getting used to where everything is on the farm. Right, so we do have up in the top corner here, which I keep forgetting this is over this little bit's over here. This is where I'd put the plow. I knew I'd put the plow somewhere. Um so we've got a cultivator which we're gonna keep, and we have yet another sewing machine which we are indeed going to sell. Because there is a specific sewing machine that I want to get. Now what we are gonna do first though is we're going to get some arms on the tractor and we are also going to get the bucket on the tractor we're also going to hook up to the Joskin water trailer kill two birds with one stone go and clean the animals out and just see if they need refilling what I also want to do before I start really doing anything else anywhere else on the farm I would also like to start filling up the water and the straw bedding sections on the cows and the pigs just so that we are prepared for when we start having cows and pigs. Pigs probably may not be this year in game but cows definitely. Cows I would definitely like to get if we can afford it. It's all about if we can afford it though. Oh I never got the Joskin trailer. Never mind we can go back for the Joskin trailer and I can pick up the bale forks instead so that's not a worry um, we have here got a little gravestone now the sheep were my gramps's favorite animal on the farm so we what I've done is I've put a gravestone to mem to honor him there and what I'm also going to do is I'm gonna get in touch with a few members of the family see what his favorite tractor was and then I'll approach the council and see if they'll help pay for some of it. But we'll try and get his favourite tractor parked in the field here as well. Uh, it might not happen. The council might say, shit, you've got no chance. But we can always have a go. Mr. Sheep, I need you to move. Mr. Sheep. Okay. This isn't going to look very realistic at all. But you know what? Mr. Sheep's not moving out my way, so the way I see it, I've got no choice whatsoever. Oh, that's not picking up whatsoever, that's not. No wonder it's not. It's not even on the ground properly. Oh, <laughs> the sheep rose. <laughs> the rise of the sheep. It's not the silence of the lambs. It's the rise of the lambs. Oh, LOL. There's literally nothing in there. So I'm not all that bothered about pulling it back. We'll just let it rot in the ground. There we go. It can rot. Rot, baby, rot. Oh, no. There we go. I can rot there. Oh, well, hello, Mr. Sheep. Please don't walk through me. Oh, it's absolutely tipping it with rain. I feel sorry for these sheep. I suppose they don't really care, they've got their wool coats on, haven't they? Oh, actually, it's spring, no, they, should, they shouldn't They should really have that much of a wool coat on in spring. It should be starting to come off from the winter. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go and put the bucket away. I'm going to grab which one of these do I need? Oh, that's the question. I'm going to hazard a guess that it's them ones. That one. Could be wrong, but we'll see if it works.
Half six in the morning, it still hasn't stopped raining yet. It's absolutely piddling it down. Not good. So we're just going to start off by filling up the empty ones, finding out where the pig and cow fill points are. Well, nice and easy for the pigs, it's just here. That's the piggies full. And we've got some hay bales there ready for the old cows and I'm not sure if this is the food one yeah that must be the food but the water must be around the corner around by the bedding yeah it is there's the water for the cows what we're gonna do we're gonna leave that there temporarily just whilst we grab we only need one bale one bale in each, we'll fill it. Because there's no animals in there. So just grab one bale. Oh, lift it up. There we go. Not quite sure if this is the right one or not, but it works. So I'm not qualming. I'm not complaining. And we're going to head round to the piggies and just sort theirs out. Should, in theory. So we can see these bales are actually depreciating slowly. Because they're not actually... 4,000 litres like they once were because they left out in the rain so it's good to know that it works we are going to leave those slightly up just got to watch that we don't kill any sheep with them when we go back into the sheep field with the water just to give them a top up Oh, so I do have an update for you all, um, whilst I'm thinking about it. In the previous episode, I mentioned about having put an application in to Sussex County Council for the Agricultural Grant. Now, they got in touch with me yesterday evening in game yesterday evening after I'd done all my after I'd finished all my um, contracting work they I received a phone call from them and I was informed that they have received the application however they're not dismissing it but they're not going to consider it further until I'm more established in the area so around Sussex which, in my opinion, is a fair comment. After all, I've just arrived here. Wow. I'm in my first season now at um, Sussex Farm. So it's understandable what they're saying. I'm not going to slag them off or diss them or anything like that for saying that. Because they've got every right to, you know what I mean? So yeah, fair play to them. Um, so that must be full, which is fine. So yeah, absolutely fair play to them, they've got every right to say that. But at least they haven't dismissed it, so it means I could possibly get the aqu agricultural grant in the future. Now once I received this news, I went straight down to one of our new customers, Mr. Sealy P. And I had a very lengthy discussion with him. Um, because he knows quite a lot more about that process than I do. Um, so he gave me some advice on the things that I need to do to improve the farm in their eyes. Not just in the eyes of, yeah, right, the farm's improved, but from a productivity standpoint for the council to actually consider a grant. 
So I know roughly what they're looking for now, but he was also kind enough, because we're in our first season, to donate. And he donated some hay bales to us. So I'm guessing they're from his... They're from last year and he's still got them and they haven't rotted away because he, he, he gave me those. He delivered those up to me um, yesterday evening before we had our nice cup of tea in my farm my farmhouse here. Um, so yeah, it was very, very nice of him, I think. He didn't have to do that. So that's going to be good because we can take those down to... Ta down to, I think it's the McLean Bioglass, Biogas. Um, we'll be able to sell them there, I would assume. Or we'll sell some there. Cause we're also going to need some for animal feed and things like that. We're not going to sell them all. Um, and those grass bales, by the way, or hay bales, should I say. We've placed them. There they are. Not very neat. They didn't come off the trailer. <laughs> as well as I expected them to. Or Mr. Silipi for that matter. He was laughing his head off. But yes. So they're not as neat as I'd have liked. But they're in here. We've got some for the sheep. And if I just use my Wopsle. Still 4,000 litres. Even though it's pouring it with rain. So we're just shutting those. Which is great. So that's the animals. That is the sheep cleaned and the bedding and water for all animal areas sorted. So when this rain stops, we are going to be seeding field 26. So if I just bring my pause menu up and bring, bring my PDA up and bring the map up here. So field 26, which is just down here, you can see underneath, but just south of the windmill. We're going to be planting that with wheat for Sealy EG Bakery. And field 11 and 6, which are just either side of our main farmyard there, um, they're going to be barley for the brewery. Um, so we know what we're going to plant. However, it's a case of now just waiting for this torrential downpour to cease. So, in the meantime, we will park up, and as I said, we have got a few items to sell, so we'll get some selling done in this. And what I want to do is I'm going to have a look at our garage here. And I'm just going to have a look at the T-Series, which is worth £145,315. £145, and that's a 250 horsepower unit. And then we've got the Fast Track 8000 JCB, which is worth £178,260. And it's a 310 horsepower. However, for the equipment that I want to buy, I know for a fact that the Vultra will be fine pulling it. The question is, would it look right pulling it? Well, what we can do anyway... There's going to be a couple of different items that we're selling anyway. So we're selling everything on that Vultra. And then obviously I need to come back and collect the cedar here. Because that's going to be sold also. So we'll take a trip out in the Vultra to the shop. And I will see you when we get there. So here we are, we are inside the modification and sell point garage, 
and as you can see inside the market area we have both the sower and the fertilizer that we're going to sell to start off with here so we're going to get 6-2 for the fertilizer for the sower even and 4-8 for the fertilizer which isn't too bad now if I was out of interest to sell the vulture we would indeed get 174,000 for it so what we'll do is we'll part this up and we have Clive's recovery truck there that's his recovery and delivery truck he owns the scrapyard which I'm sure we will have to visit at some point so we will take a trip down to Clive's scrapyard eventually uh, he does offer a nice nice delivery and recovery service and it's cheap so that's always a plus side so we're going to leave this here and I'm going to go and grab So the here we are JCB guys back down at the, the vehicle modification and sell point sell. with the Great Plains and SOA and the JCB, fa there. JCB so Fast Track. For now. So we're going to get just over £11,000 for the SOA there. And we're, let's go in, let's, let's just see how much the JCB Fast Track would give us. So this would give us 214,000. So that's not too bad. But let's just park this next to the Vulture for now. And we'll just think about this. So it's going to give us an extra 30, 40, 30 or 40,000 30 40, pounds. Um, so we'll just think about this and we'll have a look at the sower that I want. Now, the there's obviously different sowers and some of them are direct without cultivating some of them actually you have to cultivate first i'd rather have a direct what i call a direct drill because sometimes i've plowed but i don't want to cultivate um so that's the one we've just sold there the great plains sower we also sold the one at the beginning there the accord dl um that was i, I believe that was the first one that we sold um, that's we've we've got that evade, uh, that's not the Vader stat we've got sorry we've got that that coon there the oh, the coon Espro 3000 at the coon pack that's the one that the helper is going to be using whilst we um, so field 26 and this is what we want we want the Coeckling Jockey 600 by the ARM team and I think it's brilliant. Um, I think it's, I think it's great. Um, it takes up less slots than the Vader stat, as I'll show you in a minute. Uh, it's got a 2800 literage, so again, as I'll show you in a minute, it's not as big as the Vader stat. The Vader stat is coming in at 3150, so it's got what 350 more literage, um, and it's cheaper but it does take up more slots that takes up nine slots whereas the coeckling is only four slots so yeah we're definitely going to go with the coeckling i mean that's the one i want to get anyway and that's the one i want to show you guys because i think it's a pretty na pretty neat bit of kit it's got the tank on top there so that you haven't got to have the separate tank as well and it's in blue and blue's a good color i like blue <laughs> blue's always a good color Um, there was something else I was going to say, I can't remember. So that's going to cost us, anyway, but that's going to cost us 44.5k. So this is the Coeckling. Um Thank you very much to the ARN team for this mod, because I really do love it. Coming back to Clive's recovery and delivery truck, it is part of well both parts the trailer and the cab the os the osh kosh package by craig rock toxicom and v8 bowl 
and that's available on the mod hub uh, it's definitely on console so I'm assuming it's going to be on PC as well and it's a great bit of kit I love anything in the military camo and I just love it love it love it love it so that's going to be great that's going to come in handy um, especially when we need to call Clive and get him to recover a couple of our stuff which we're going to need to and if he delivers as well which he apparently does great rates on both the delivery and the recovery side so no doubt we'll find out what those rates are later on in the game so for now looking at these two I think the Vulture just looks better the JCB I love JCBs but I don't like getting JCBs dirty <laughs> Um, it's just they look better clean and I'd have to be cleaning it every episode so we're gonna sell the JCB and get the I think it was just under 215,000 for it um, which is gonna come in handy because it means we can buy some fields and we're definitely gonna need some fields so we've got to repair it first but that's quite cheap anyway and there we go just under 215k so we've got a fair bit of fair bit of pounds at the moment um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this sewing machine I'm gonna go and fill it up and I will meet you at field 26 because that's the field we're going to be doing so tough for now. So here we are, back at our main farmyard, and look at that, we've got a lot of eggs to collect, so we'll go and do them next, and I think on the way to getting the animal trailer, we can go and sell those. So let's go and collect those, and we will go and get our animal trailer. And also at the same time as doing that, we're going to have a look at which field we want to buy. So let's just come through here, collect all these eggs. There's a lot of eggs here. I wonder how many eggs we've got in our backpack. Oh god, there's loads. They've been busy. These, egg <laughs> these chickens have been super busy. That should just about... Be it, yep, yeah. right. So back to our tractor. And I'm thinking let's have a look at these fields here. They're not huge, I know. But that's a good thing. We don't want them to be huge. That's not bad, 20,000, and it's 0.84 hectares. We'll buy that. We'll buy that straight off the bat. So we now own field 9. Let's go and have a look at field 10. Which is just across the way here. I'm not sure, but I think that field's already growing something. So we may not have to seed it, as with this one, but we will find that one out shortly. And this one is where it's 0.93 and it's 22 and a half. Do you know what? We'll buy that one straight off the bat as well. It takes us down to just over two and just under 210,000. But it gives us two extra fields. And if we have a look here, we can see that they are, I'd like to say, wheat fields. No. Nope. They're not going to be sunflowers, surely. Oh, 
Right, okay, so they are sunflower fields that I've just purchased, which is okay-ish, I guess, but it's also going to be a bit of a pain. I mean, if we look at the growing growth stage, they are... Of course, we've just bought them, so they're harvested. Right, okay. So we're going to have to cultivate that field and cultivate both of those fields and replant them as well. So that's great, because that's actually five fields that we've got that we can work on. We don't have five fields of tractors that we can work on. However, I'm sure I could borrow Mr. Sealy-P's Mr. Sealy Massey Ferguson. I'm sure he won't mind. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do two different things now. We're going to go and... Hmm, which one do I want to do first? We'll go to the shop, get the animal trailer, and then we will go and sell the eggs, and then we'll make our way back up to the livestock market, grab some more sheep, drop them off in the field, and we will see what we can do about the water on the ground. Here we are at the egg sale point. Dear old Sally. Everybody wave to Sally. She is on the fruit and veg store. And we've just made £246 from those eggs. So, next off. Drive round to the shop. And here we are. Back at our trusty shop. Oh. So what we want this time, we want to go into animals. Now, there's a lot of different different things that we can go for, as you can see. That transport animals. I'm not quite sure how many you can get in any of these, by the way. But I will find out. We've got this one, which can't be used on a tractor, that one can't be used on a tractor, that one can. It's 28 footer, so it's going to be able to transport quite a few. And they're not transporters. I do want to eventually get one of these Lely Junos for each animal station, just to clean it up. Automatic cleaning, why not? A bit lazy, but I'm not going to do it just yet. Um, so we're actually going to go for 24, 24 and a half. We're going to go for the... The Bruhan 28 foot animal trailer. Um, because I like it. We're going to have a UK registration plate on it. We're going to have the main colour white. And we're going to have flotation. Flotation on the road? I'm not quite sure what that is, but we'll have standard. Uh, for the rim colour, we're going to go with the green. Why not? Let's buy that. It's twenty-four and a half thousand pounds. So that's not too bad. And let's go and have a look at it. Here it is. So the Brulhan 28-foot animal trailer, made by the model will appear on the screen now, because I can't quite remember who it is. But yeah. So there we go. That's the Brulhan animal trailer. So now, we're going to get to find out where the dear old Sussex Livestock Market is. So let's open our big map, just have a quick look. Got a feeling, yeah there it is, animal dealers are up there, so it's going to be out the shop, first exit at the roundabout, to the next right, okay, so it's back to our farm basically, but is there a quicker way. Sometimes there can be, sometimes there's not. And uh, no, there's not a through road, so that's not a, not a problem. Let's go. Let's go and get some more sheep. So here we are, just driving past our farmyard. And to get to the Sussex Livestock Market, it's all the way down this road. It is quite literally I say a straight road. It's not a straight road, but it's a straight run, which basically means that you don't come across the, you don't come off of this road pretty much. 
can see that construction doesn't seem to be moving very far. I mean, it's only been a day, so what do we expect? They did say winter would be ready, roughly. But I am hoping it's going to be done a little bit sooner. I just want to know what it's going to be. I don't like surprises. And Sussex County Council are full of surprises, so it seems. Very twisty narrow lanes down here. Kind of glad I chose to stick with this and not the JCB. Here we go for a tunnel. A drivable through a drive-through tunnel. Not many of those about on FS17. Hopefully more of them to come on FS19 in October, but we'll find out, I guess. It's the only way to know. So, what I love about Sussex Livestock Market is each animal has its own cell point, and I think that is absolutely wonderful. So I believe the sheep buy point is just through here. There we go. Just going to back that up. My reversing, as you can tell, isn't great. And if we Gonna allow us? No. If I just do that, I should still do it while I'm at the tractor. Yep. Yeah. We can see. Back unfold, and these gates also will unfold. So let's buy our sheep. We can buy 14 sheep. Now that would put me on 19, which is unlucky. <laughs> it's an odd number, which is why I'm buying sheep in the first place. And I don't do odd numbers if I can help it. So. We're going to buy, possibly, this is where it gets difficult, I'm going to have to buy an odd number of sheep to get an even number of sheep. <laughs> oh no, this is dreadful. Okay, so we're going to buy, that'll take me up to 18 sheep. Sixty-six thousand, or I could have fifteen, fourteen sheep for forty-five. We'll go. With, we'll go for fourteen. We'll go with nine sheep for forty-five and a half thousand, which takes us up to fourteen sheep in total. So they're all in there. So we'll jump back into the tractor and just fold that up. Should be able to see at the back. There we go, that's folding up nicely there. And let's get these back to the farm. There we go, that'll do. Maybe now. No, let's try and reverse it a bit more in there. It's just... Or have I got to actually... Is there like an unload feature or have I just got to go back far enough? Ah, there we go. Unload, there we go. 14 sheep! Yay! There we go. So we now have more sheep. Which obviously means we're going to require more feed and water. But for now, we're going to be alright. So that's not a problem. So let's go and put this trailer into storage. Because we're not going to need this for a little while now. And I love the fact, by the way, as well, if I just zoom out, I you probably saw it already, but on the back there, back of the trailer, flashing beacon. Absolutely love that. Absolute brilliant mod. And this, believe it or not, is going to live in here. Because there is a reason for this. This is going to be where all my like bales for the animals and things like that are going to be stored. So, it makes perfect sense to reverse this in and not drive it in forwards. And also store this in here because it's going to be like my... my animal shed if you'd like. I know the water, water containers outside but... 
it holds water so it can go outside and it's used quite regularly whereas this not going to be used as regularly so I'm going to drop that there that's quite I've managed to get that in quite nicely there actually I think little pat on the back for Jordison there a great bit of parking there look at that look at that just and I am also running because you're going to wonder about the dirt on the tyres and things like that. I'm running the um, two of the four real mods. I'm not running the crop destruction mod um, because I don't want it overly realistic to the point where I'm destroying my own stuff just because I'm doing my jobs. Um, but at the same point, so what we're going to do at the same time, sorry I'm talking while I'm doing things here. Um, oh, what was I saying? I'm just going to leave that there for a second. At the same time, sorry, I know what I'm saying now. Um, no, what was I saying? I completely... Do you know what? My mind's gone blank. I was saying something and I can't remember. Never mind. I hate weights. I can never hook them up properly. There we go. There we go. I know what I was saying. Yeah, I'm not running the crop destruction mod because I don't want it too realistic, but at the same time I want it realistic because I don't want to be destroying my own stuff while I'm doing my job. Do you know what I mean? So I've got the... Um, the ground response mod and the I think it's tire dirt something along those lines mod um, so what we're gonna do we're gonna start off by taking this back through the farmyard and onto field 11 so here we are at field 26 We've got wheat in the machine, and all we've got to do now is unfold it. Not as... It's six metres, Jordan, so I don't know why I thought I'd be able to start all the way out there, but there we go, for some reason I did. Right, as you've already seen, am I reversing when it comes to something that's not actually solidly attached? is poor but that wasn't too bad so what we're going to do is turn her on and we're going to start sowing we're going to get this field full of barley uh, wheat even ready to grow and I shall see you when I've finished it's a for now
and there we have it guys that is field 26 completely sewed so that is now completely full of what we needed to be full of so we're going to return all of this take it back to where it needs to be and we're going to grab the stuff off of field 11 now that that's done because there's no sense in leaving it out there and that will wrap this episode up Oh, turn the engine off. So, let's whiz over and grab the tractor and cedar from over at field 11. So some things that we've got to look forward to. So well, I've said what we're going to be covering in the next couple of episodes, but some things we've got to look forward to just in this year in general we've got the surprise from Sussex County Council. Now honestly I have no idea what that's going to be. It could be a multitude of things. It could be a couple of different storage units. It could be some... It could be a new forestry station for when the forestry starts. Where's he left me gear? He's left it down here. Um, for when we need to do some wood chipping and things like that. Um, or it could be something they're going to build so the... In other words it's going to aid them. So for example they could build it and say right we've got a contract that we want to give you but you're going to have to use the equipment we've given you um, so it could be a multitude of different things um, also we've got the contracts plural from Mr. Silby on the brewery and the bakery so it's going to be interesting to see how they pan out what kind of prices we're going to get throughout the year for the different things that we will be selling down to Mr. Sealy P. Um, not also that, but obviously he's got his own little farm down there, so it's going to be interesting to see if we get any contracting work um, down on the Sealy estate. Because he owns a few fields around there, which we'll go through in a future episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, guys. If there's anything you want to ask or anything you want to mention, anything you want to let me know, don't feel free. Don't, don't feel free. <laughs> Please feel free to leave us a comment below or send us a message over on Facebook. Um, the link to my Facebook is on the channel. Um, so you can find that over there. But, yeah the end of another successful episode so until next time guys enjoy whatever it is you're going to be doing thank you very very much for watching ta-ta for now